Chemical and Biochemical Foundations Physiology is the understanding of the mechanisms of how the body functions. Pathophysiology is the understanding of the mechanisms of an altered body function due to various pathological states. Every physiologic function has a patho pathophysiologic consequence. When normalcy is altered during the disease processes, normal homeostatic mechanisms fail and the organism now relies on compensatory methods to maintain homeostasis. Atoms bond to form small molecules. These molecules are sugars, fatty acids, amino acids, and nucleotides. And these then bond to form complex macromolecules, which are your carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. These macromolecules, macromolecules form the structures and do the work of the cells. Each is characterized by a unique physical, chemical, and biologic properties and depend on the structure of their atoms. Atoms divided into a nucleus, neutrons, and electrons that orbit the nucleus. The, nu the nucleus is positive charged and protons and neutrons have no charge. Electrons are negatively charged, and due to this, they are attracted to the nucleus and orbit it, creating a negative charged cloud. The elements of the periodic table are classified by their anatomic structure. The anatomic number is the number of proteins in the nucleus. Electrons are arranged on energy levels known as shells. The inner shell only holds two electrons. The octet rule states that atoms want to occupy the valence shell and have eight electrons in that shell. As we can see, sodium is assigned atomic number 11 because it has 11 protons in the nucleus and 10 electrons around the nucleus. These electrons occupy three shells, two in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and the remainder of one in the third shell. When the sodium releases the outer electron, then the middle shell becomes the exterior of the valence shell. Chlorine needs one electron to fulfill the octet rule of eight, and it can accept an electron from sodium so that both atoms now fulfill the rule of eight and become stable. Water constitutes 70% of body weight and contains most of the ionic compounds. Water's polarity forms a hydration shell and breaks the ionic bond. All ions are electrolytes because they are able to conduct electrical current in a solution and are abundant in solutions both inside and outside of the shell. The ions sodium, chlorine, and bicarbonate have high concentration in extracellular fluid. And both potassium, phosphate, and protein are high in concentration in intracellular fluid. This creates a positive charge on the outside and a negative charge on the inside of the cell. 
Acids are classified based on their ability to lose protons. Strong acid lose protons easier than does weak acids. When acids are dissolved in water, the formed ions can conduct electricity and are now electrolytes. Bases are compounds that dissociate and release hydroxide ions and a cation. HCO3 or bicarbonate is a base that has a physiologic role in maintaining the pH homeostasis of the body. Recall that bicarbonate is produced by the pancreas and it is released into the duodenum to neutralize the chyme acidity. You also need to recall that the pH less than seven is considered an acid and pH greater than seven is considered a base. The blood pH is a range of 7.35 to 7.45 and that body homeostasis is maintained by the respiratory and the renal systems. Here you can see body fluids in composition and how they differ by their location. You can see how the extracellular fluid is extremely rich in sodium and chloride and how the intracellular fluid is very rich in potassium, phosphate, and proteins. A buffer is a solution that resists the change in pH. Carbonic acid is weak and formed by the addition of water to carbon dioxide or by the addition of a hydrogen ion to bicarbonate. Proteins are also buffers because amino acids are made of amino, which is a base, and carbo carboxylic, which is an acid. A covalent bond is the sharing of electrons between atoms. Looking at the example in A, this is a single carbon with four hydrogen atoms that bond to form methane. In B, there are two oxygen atoms that are joined by a double bond that creates molecular oxygen. C is two nitrogen atoms that are joined by a triple bond and form molecular nitrogen. Electronegativity is the tendency of an element to attract a bonding pair of electrons. This depends on the number of proteins in the nucleus, making an element with more proteins in the nucleus more electronegative. Two elements with a large electronegativity differ difference form an ionic bond. Two elements with similar electronegativity form nonpolar covalent bonds and two elements with moderate electronegativity difference form a polar covalent bond. The polar nature of water is critical because water is the sol solvent for both extracellular and intracellular fluids. The term hydrophilic means water loving, and the term hydrophobic means water hating. This is very important when we are talking about molecules and the bonding that they have. With organic molecules, the core structure of these molecules are based on the carbon's ability to make four bonds. This allows 
complex chains between the molecules. Molecules that contain common functional groups. The amino acid alanine showing in showing a methyl group in yellow, the amino group in blue, and the carbo carboxylic, carboxylic group in red. The addition of one or more methyl groups adds a nonpolar hydrophobic or water hating region. The ribose molecule with aldehyde group in green, the hydroxyl group in purple, adding an additional hydroxyl group creates a larger polar hydrophilic or water loving molecule, which is a carbohydrate. The ribulose molecule shows ketones in blue. Carbonyl group is a carbon atom with a double bonded to an oxygen atom forming a carbohydrate. Here we can see a sulfur atom is bonded to a hydrogen atom. The amino acid cysteine with a thiol group in orange, letting the presence of thiol group gives the amino acid molecule the ability to form disulfide bonds by losing hydrogen atoms and then forming covalent bonds between two amino acids. The formation of the disulfide bond linking two cysteines the disulfide bonds are common because it links the two protein chains. The amino acid sequence of insulin demonstrating the disulfide bonds that link cysteines holding two chains of proteins together. Biochemical body reactions are classified as synthesis, decomposition, or exchange reactions. Synthesis reactions are the binding of molecules forming more complex structures. These are often anabolic, which, are, which is building fuel stores after a meal as an example. Decomposition reactions or when a single compound is broken into two or more components, which is often catabolic. An example is breaking down glycogen to release, release glucose. Exchange reactions are the transfer of an atom or a group between two molecules. Carbohydrates are one of the macromolecules in the body. Monomers are monosaccharides and are classified by the number of carbon atoms. Hexoses are the most common. D form of carbohydrates are the most prevalent in the body. The maintenance of glucose level in the body is vital for homeostasis and optimum functioning. Membrane bound carbohydrate example that is responsible to distinguish itself from non-self and regulate immune functions. All lipids have a common characteristic the insolubility in aqueous solutions. The dehydration reaction of triglyceride synthesis beginning from three fatty acids and creating one triglyceride that is nonpolar, hydrophobic, and insoluble in water. Phosphatidylcholine, this is fatty acids that are transported in blood to serum protein albumin. 
Saturated fatty acids, when formulating, are tightly packed. This increases the membrane rigidity. Unsaturated fatty acids have a kink in the molecule and acquire more space, formulating a fluid and therefore have a flexible membrane. Made of short hydrocarbon chain that's connected to four hydrocarbon rings, it is nonpolar and hydrophobic. Hydroxyl group on the first carbon ring makes this area polar and cholesterol is amphipathic. The physiological roles are that it contributes to plasma membrane structure for the formation of steroid hormones, the formation of bile salts that aid in gastrointestinal digestion and for fat absorption. The formation of inflammatory mediators from anacodonic acid follows two paths. The COX path, which is blocked by NSAIDs, and the 5-LOX path. The acid is a precursor for lipid molecules that assist with inflammation control blood flow and blood pressure, and have reproductive functions. Lipoproteins have a liquid core and an outer coat made of phospholipids and apolipoproteins, or just proteins. These apolipoproteins coat and stabilize lipids and also regulate lipid exchange between blood and tissue. Chylomicrons originate in intestinal cells in the last phase of the digestion process and the absorption of dietary fats. These then enter circulation via the lymphatic system and the main role is to deliver triglycerides to the body tissues, which are muscle and fat. After the release of the chylomicrons, they are then cleared away by the liver. After meal digestion and absorption, the liver produces VLDLs to carry the lipids. After the triglyceride release to the peripheral cells, they are now known as IDLs. The liver will then clear some of the IDLs while others are converted by hepatic lipase to LDLs, which is mostly cholesterol with the purpose of releasing cholesterol to the cells. Individuals with high cholesterol and saturated fat intake are now susceptible to atherogenesis and developing atherosclerosis. HDLs have highest density of lipoproteins, highest phospholipids, some cholesterol with small triglycerides. These are synthesized by the liver and intestine. Low LDL levels will indicate a potential cardiovascular risk. Protein functions are form enzymes, support structures, antibodies, and hormones, and are membrane transporters. The simplest amino acid is glycine. The R group does not contribute much to the development of hydrophobic interactions. Here is all the uncharged polar amino acids.
Here are the charged amino acids. Amino acids are primarily used as building blocks. They are also used as energy sources that are classified on the ability to convert to ketones or glycogenic amino acids. Peptide bond formation. Amino acid sequence of a protein is the primary structure. An alpha helix is a peptide that is coiled to form a single right-handed helix, and the hydrogen bonds are parallel to the helix main axis. The carbonyl groups point in one direction and the amino acids point in the opposite. A beta sheet is hydrogen bonds that are formed between different amino acid sequence, sequences that lie parallel to each other to form a sheet. Sequences may be parallel or antiparallel with hydrogen bonds remaining on the same plane. The process of folding and consolidation of a, hel a helices and B beta sheets of proteins, along with their connecting loops, is a critical event for proper functioning. Endoplasmic reticulum contains a detection system, which is an unfolded protein response that is capable of stopping protein synthesis. Here, stabilization by hydrophobic interaction is displayed. Nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, are linear polymers of nucleotides. These play a vital role in cell signaling cascades. Remember that ATP is the energy source for transportation between cells. This slide is depicting ATP as the main energy supply for cells. And this is also a precursor of a second messenger known as C-AMP. DNA and RNA are biomolecules that are responsible for genetic inheritance, which is DNA, and the ongoing cell functioning through protein synthesis, which is RNA. During, during the gene transcription, double-stranded DNA separates, permitting access to transcription factors and the RNA polymerase. In autosomal recessive disorders, the individual receives copies of disease-conferring gene and will develop the disease. These individuals then carry a gene-coding mutation for the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, and this then stops the, stops the conversion to tyrosine.